Hello there folks and welcome to Bullets for Bucks. My name's Steven and today I have something very exciting to test and review for you. That's the DNT Optics TNC-225R Thermal Night Vision Laser Range Finding and Ballistic Calculating Optic. And we're also gonna briefly go over the PSA Jackal in 556 NATO. We're gonna take these out to the range. We're gonna show you that footage a little bit later on. But first let's go over some of the fit, feel, function, and specifications of this optic. This optic weighs 22.8 ounces. It has a 32 gigabyte internal storage for recording video and pictures. It's Bluetooth compatible, so you can remotely view what's being seen through the optic on another device. It's waterproof, shockproof. It can operate in temperatures as low as negative four Fahrenheit and as high as 122 Fahrenheit. It's made of aircraft grade aluminum and has a hard anodized finish. It comes with two rechargeable lithium ion batteries and has a battery life of up to five hours. The base magnification or optical magnification on this is three times. Depending on if you're on the night vision or day vision setting, you can have digital magnification up to 12 times. It uses an uncooled infrared sensor. The thermal scope has a resolution of 256 by 192, a field of view of 7.03 to 5.28. It has a 50 FPS frame rate. The visible light resolution is 1920 by 1080p at 60 FPS. It records video in 1024 by 768 pixels. It has a base magnification of five times and a max magnification of 20 times. Eye relief is 1.8 inches. It uses an IR wavelength of 850 to 940 Nm. An infrared power is class three R.I. safe. All right, let's take a look at the fit, feel, and function now. Comes with a very nice removable threaded on eye cup. Nice, soft, pliable rubber. Has your diopter adjustment right here. This is basically going to be your focus knob for the actual digital screen within. Comes with a scope cap right here, which is very nice. Has your focus knob right here for your thermal, and then your focus knob down here for your night vision. On this side, you have your IR light right here, it comes attached. It has a rechargeable battery behind this O-ringed knurled aluminum cap. Right here is your laser range finder. And then of course inside is your ballistic calculator. It comes with a zero MOA, aircraft grade aluminum, hard anodized finished Picatinny rail mount that is cantilever, which I absolutely love the quality of. And you have your menu settings right here. It's super easy to use and operate in zero and it has one shot zeroing. You can choose different reticles as well. And it has a screen actually where you can run dual screen where it has a little square screen above your main screen and you can see night vision while seeing thermal or thermal while seeing night vision. And you can have multi reticles as well for that. Really, really cool. On this side, you have a Picatinny rail where say you could mount a red dot or an extra IR light. Right here I have a O light, which is now O sight, 45 degree offset red dot. Actually really like it. It has a USB-C port for data transfer and for charging. So I really love the ergonomics of this site. It's actually very compact for having a laser rangefinder day or night vision, thermal image, and a six calculator in it, and actually pretty light as well. The diopter for the image on the screen or focus on the screen works very well. It's nice and smooth and fluid. It's aluminum knurled knob here or wheel. You have your power button up on top. You have your menu settings button 
you have your different color palettes. So you can go from like white hot, red hot, fusion, black hot, and so on, as well as switch your screens from where you have thermal up above and then night vision down below or vice versa. Really easy to use the menu options on this. Focus knob up on top, very smooth and fluid, works well. Same with the larger knurled rubber wheel down below for your focus. Howdy there folks, today we're going to be testing out this Lux Gun hunting tripod kit with this Noreen ULR 2.0 50 BMG. It's made of 6061 T6 aluminum, has a hard anodized finish, quick coarse throw lever so that you can quickly adjust the width for the appropriate size uh, forend of your rifle. Does come with a uh, Arca Swiss adapter plates and some spiked feet as well. Tighten it down a little bit and then it has a quick throw lever. Clamp that down, that is a locking throw lever. It also has a ball head. This clamp, once it's clamped down, holds really solid. solid. It doesn't move around or drift on you at all. This one comes with just two positions. If you do just pull it out, you can actually just adjust it wherever you want, all the way down to a prone level. You can adjust the height from 12.2 centimeters to 164 centimeters. So if you're interested in purchasing this tripod for precision shooting or hunting, go ahead and check out the shopping carousel below and use promo code bullets for bucks to save. You have a button over on the left side here. You just tap that and it's gonna give you your laser range finding distance up to 1100 yards on reflective targets. Then you push this little button here and you can switch between thermal and night vision. The laser range finder will act, if it's programmed to the ballistics calculator, will automatically give you your holdover points for different yardages, which is super awesome and it works fantastic actually. <laughs> Now we're briefly going to talk about the rifle we had it set up on. So this is a PSA or Palmetto State Armory Jackal. Love this green color. Absolutely great coating on this. No problems with rust or corrosion or easily being scratched. Has a full length Picatinny rail all the way down the forend and the receiver. Has a side charging handle right here, which is really cool. Porting or venting up here. And then it has M-Lock. QD sling swivel mounts, and then M-Lock here. I wish this part was M-Lock. It looks kind of like M-Lock, but it's smaller. It's like mini M-Lock. I wish this was M-Lock so you could have more mounting angles so you can mount an M-Lock device. Comes with a flash hider on it, and this is Minimo compatible for certain silencers. It does have a toolless adjustment here for your toolless gas block adjustment right here, which is really cool and great if you're running a suppressor. Mag release works very well. I did put an Elfman Apex trigger in here. Absolutely love it. You can do flat or curved blade. You can adjust the blade up and down the shaft here. Really crisp, nice trigger. I put an aftermarket Seekins Precision Amidextrous safety on here. Everything works great on this rifle. Absolutely love it. This Elfman Apex trigger, it's got the quickest lock time out of any trigger on the market. Really nice, light, it's adjustable. Absolutely fantastic. In fact, let me go ahead and put it on the trigger gauge here. Broke at four and a half pounds, but because it's so nice and crisp and has such little over travel, it feels more like three pounds to me. Also, this PSA Jackal model does have a folding stock. You got to push straight up on it and then it folds. Really locks firmly in place. There's no like slop or wiggle. Has cutie sling flush cups here in the back. Adjustable butt stock. Works really, really well. Also cutie flush cups back here. A little bit of rubber on the back. You just push out this pin right here for maintenance and cleaning and it'll open right up on you. It doesn't use a buffer tube, which is pretty nice. It's kind of this weird hybrid version of an AR and a AK. Absolutely love it. Nice short overall length, easy to shoot, lots of fun. In closing, hope you enjoyed this review of the DNT Optics Therm Knight Multispectrum Optic. Absolutely love it. The rangefinder works great. The ballistics computer works great. It's user-friendly. It's their 
like entry level one, you can get a more expensive, higher resolution version. But for what it is, it, you could definitely use this for hog hunting or varmint hunting out to, I would say, 100 yards very easily. You can shoot targets, especially on night vision, way further than that, hundreds and hundreds of yards accurately. The thermal, I would say it gets pretty pixelated once you magnify in because it's not optical magnification, it's digital, and it's relatively low resolution sensor. So once you get past 100 yards, you're gonna have quite a bit of pixelation if you magnify in. That being said, still easily capable of shooting three, 400 yards. And then the night vision, even further than that. Nothing but good things to say about it, and I'm gonna definitely be using this hog hunting. As far as the rifle, absolutely love it. Haven't had any problems. It takes everything I feed it. It doesn't have extraction, ejection issues, or anything like that. Hope you enjoyed this review of the DNT Thermite Optic and the PSA Jackal rifle. Thanks for watching Bolts for Bucks. Check out this next video and subscribe.